My name is Joseph Wonder, I'm a professor of engineering, architecture, and computer science. This is a lecture in architectural materials and methods. This course right here. And we are down here on number two of five on masonry and concrete. Okay. Stone. Uh, different geological types of stone, igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Uh, igneous is uh, from lava, molten lava. Sedimentary is uh, over time, just layers of deposits. And metamorphic is uh, pressure and temperature uh, changing uh, over time, either igneous or sedimentary rock. Typical types of stones specified in building industry are granite, marble, limestone, and slate. Uh, different properties of stone, uh, absorption, hardness, abrasive resistance, compressive strength, depending on your application. Uh, you can cut it, quarries, special equipment, sometimes diamond tipped very expensive saw blades. You use one in a research lab in the University of Texas. It's a $25,000 uh, blade, which is a circular saw, a big, big like circle of circular saw. Stone cutting and quarries. Stone cutting. Uh, I took this picture on the railroad down the uh, western, northwestern um, Italian Riviera between Genoa and Past Pisa. This is a quarry where they mine marble from the Roman times. Um, stone window sills. Now we're talking about stone. So we have these on our campus here. Typical brick facades with stone, limestone sills. You know, sills, we do that here. This is not our campus. This is actually in Mon Mons, Belgium in 2014. Uh, stone window lentils, lentil. It's above here, lentil. Stone lentils, I took these in Venice. Lentils. Stone arches. These are different places. Oh, this is all Mons, Belgium, 2014. With my aunt, she was in the Royal Ballet. She was a ballerina. And then my uncle just passed away, well, seven, eight years ago. But, he ran uh, for NATO headquarters, a special EMP lab in Mons. Mons is the headquarters of SHAPE, Supreme Headquarters Allied Powers Europe, NATO. This is a stone bridge tunnel in, um, on the way down the Italian Riviera towards the Cinque Terre in Portofino, and Santa Margherita from uh, Genoa. This is uh, Piazza San Marco, St. Mark's Square. <clears throat> stone, stone pavers, salt stone, stone, cut stone. Uh, stone pavers, Venice, Venezia. Now uh, this is Japan in uh, 2013, stone. Oops, more stones, a little boyfriend. Uh, a boy who's a son of um, a good friend of mine. <clears throat> oh, and stone floors. This is actually inside their living room. They have this marble. Uh, stone domes. This was amazing here. A quick story. This guy sketched this picture with just his fingernails in less than 60 seconds. You'd have to say, I mean, we didn't even, it was so quick, we didn't have time to take a video. It's like with his fingernails in chalk. I mean, charcoal in Venice. Uh, this is Padua, uh, which is very close to Venice. It's part of the, what used to be a Venetian kind of empire right there. So they're very much related culturally and where my friend lives, this is his mother. And, his wife, she's a doctor of infectious diseases and a professor of medicine. He's a professor of engineering. She's actually a psychologist. She likes to yell at her son. That's part of how they love each other, I guess. 
the you know some uh, stone groin vault. This is a groin vault. Stone columns. Now this is in the uh, museum in the Vatican. It's all marble. Imagine cutting that. It's a pretty huge thing. I mean, a, a person is about the size. I mean, here's a trash can. So this is 25 feet tall in the Vatican Museum sculpture. Uh, of course, the Statue of David, and then a lot of other sculptures in the same museum. Pretty amazing. Uh, stone veneers and facades. This is a gatehouse outside Villanova. I grew up in Stratford, and this is uh, Philadelphia Mainline. That's what my mother taught for 30 years. She was head of math and science at private school. Old mansion they repurposed. Uh, this is uh, uh, another college right near uh, where my mother and I, or my family grew up. You can see my mother and my daughter there a long ago. Uh, house made of brick and cut stone up in Portofino in Italy, 2004. So stone veneers and the way it's done now. So very rarely do you make an entire wall out of stone now. It doesn't have the best thermodynamic characteristics. Uh, and you know it, it's, it's very difficult and expensive to build a whole house completely of stone. So you typically have veneers. And if it's done right, it looks pretty good. Although if it's not done right, it looks kind of fake looking at the corners. And it's just some of the details that you would have to put uh, as an architect specifying it or an engineer of uh, waterproofing it correctly, insulating everything, <clears throat> making sure it adheres with proper backing underlayment, thin set mortar, uh, properly anchored with a ledge, support the weight. So this is how you do stone in modern day with the typical symbols you use, insulation and rigid. And, Insulation and stone, concrete, those are standard symbols. This is how you would have the interface of the stone properly with uh, the first floor. Waterproofed, properly fastened structurally. Different patterns. And so you can specify these different degrees of difficulty in building. I've never cut stone before. I've done masonry work. Cutting stone itself is a very specific trade. Stone chimneys, various stone chimneys, um, kind of colonial times, American, early American. Valley Forge Park looks just like these. If you go there, I haven't seen this one over here, but stone chimneys, uh, water cable stones, maybe this detail. Uh, coins, these things on the corner here for decoration. Cornice work. Retaining walls. This is structural as well as aesthetic. Very nice match of style and substance, function and form. Uh, details, specific details. If you're making work in drawings and you want the contractor to know exactly what to do, you specify in detail. Or you just Give him a rough sketch and trust what he does. I don't recommend that in most cases. Uh, it worked that way for a couple thousand years, but nowadays you want to hard bid things where you want a tight set of joint and specifications, and then you bid it to qualified bidders, and they need to see the exact details. So they're all bidding on the same thing. <clears throat> Different ways to properly put in stone, proper foundation, and a, a base of gravel below. This is in Venice, coping on top of a stone wall, brick wall, stone coping on top of a brick wall. Uh, 
Venice, Japan, bridges. This is a cut stone. They cut it curved stone here. You see, this is kind of cool. It's a single slab here that's cut, cut here. This is the Bridge of Size. You walk over that in Venice after you've been sentenced to something. You look out the window and you sigh before you go into the prison. One last time, you look out the window. Pretty sad. This is in Padua, Padova, all right, and then uh, very close to Venice, only a 20 minute uh, train ride and where my good friends live. It's not a big tourist attraction, but it's something to see in itself, this big oval canal. And, uh, oh, this thing. I, I could play this to see if this works. Probably not going to work. Uh, it looks like it might work. Come if I got me out of the sea, me out of the come fagato io sì sì oh grazie grazie oh questo è un uomo sì that's just a fun little thing I've gotten to know that family really well over the years now. He's about 15 or so now. Oops, uh, I get off on a tangent here too much. Here, back, back to here. Sorry about that. Yeah. Um, come my father means like, what does it, the cow do? What does the cat do? That was, I was just learning Italian then. Kind of, you know, like a little bit. The baby understands me anyway. Okay. So, um, more on stone. This is a building that I taught in. And uh, there's more stone work there. And students I taught in Italy and in this building. Here, University of Trento, Trentino Alto. Uh, what's going on here? I'm not sure why that looks like that, but uh, it's odd. Okay. Um, this morning, University of Trento. This is where we are at now, Elizabethtown College. Uh, the Masons, the uh, Masonic Homes, is right across the street. I believe one of the very largest retirement facilities in the world. Uh, and historically were masons, physically masons. Um, and this is a renovation of our train station here. This is the main house Masonic Homes. <coughs> um, you can see how big the whole facility is. And they built the newer buildings are really well built too. The, I mean, even when they're facades of stone, it still looks like real stone masonry is done well. Uh, little pictures of that, Grand Lodge. This is a newer, this is brand new construction. And you can always tell, I always look at the corners, you know, uh, facades that aren't done nicely. Look, you can tell it's just a facade typically at a corner. You look at these corners in it and you have a hard time telling that this is uh, not a facade. 